be okay. See what we can do here. It does look like you've got quite a severe case of conjunctivitis. Have you noted any kind of fever, chills, any nasal congestion, cough? sore throat, any nausea, vomiting, and clearly you're having some difficulty seeing, correct? Would you say that you're struggling with your vision with both eyes, or is one worse than the other? Is it painful? It is common for something like that to irritate the skin quite a bit. And when did these symptoms start? And this might seem like a bit of a strange question. Have you cried recently? I just want to rule out the case of any sort of lacrimal duct involvement. Sometimes a blocked tear duct can actually cause a similar presentation, so I just want to make sure we rule that out. We start our examination of your eyes and the surrounding areas. I'd like to take your temperature if that's okay. Brilliant. Okay. May I have you open for me? Yes, under the tongue. And then go ahead and close. So there is a mild elevation of temperature, which is consistent with the presence of an infection.
hope you don't mind, I'm going to get quite close to you and also if I may have your consent to touch your face Thank you I want to examine the eyes quite closely rule out the presence of a lacrimal duct involvement and then I'd also like to note if there are any particular areas of swelling if we have any lymph node involvement and also whether or not the skin is worn to the touch okay right so to begin What I would like to do to start is I'm going to be moistening a cotton-tipped applicator which should help make that experience feel a bit more comfortable for you, okay? I'm going to see if I can coax some of this film free at the edges and see if we can provide you with some relief, alright? If this is ineffective, there are other that we can take, but I'd like to start off with something more simple, all right? Cheers. All right, so.
point this becomes too uncomfortable, painful, I want you to let me know, alright? Okay. So I'm going to begin. I'm just going to gently explore the edges of the film covering your eyes. Thank you. different approach. Considering that I am seeing quite a bit of adherence to the eyelashes, I think it might be beneficial to our cause to see if perhaps addressing that issue will help and coax some of the remaining film to free itself and allow us to remove it from the eye. was kind enough to donate these what are called spoolies which are particular brushes meant for the eyelashes as well as the brows and of course they're pink so I'm going to be applying a
Are you ready? Okay. Just work this through the lashes. Appear that I've loosened a little bit of the film around the eyelashes. But what I'd like to do is just use a very bluntly tipped tweezer to help and influence the rest of the film to remove from the eyes. tweezers right here. They are very bluntly tipped, right? Which means that they're not going to cause any 
any sort of damage to the eye or surrounding skin. So I'm very lightly just using All right. successfully removed the film from your eye. And I do see a little bit remaining around the edges, so...
degree. It will help your eyes feel quite a bit more refreshed and at least for the time being more comfortable, okay? Alright. So, let me adjust the exam table here. Alright then. Are you comfortable lying down like this? Do you need me to provide a bolster, an extra pillow? drops are quite gentle and should be very soothing, alright? So I'm going to just very gently place a drop in the corner of each eye. Alright, blink a few times for me. A bit of irritation, all right. So again, and we will just let that sit for just a moment.
right, how's that? I'm going to be prescribing you an antibiotic both in the form of an oil capsule as well as an eye drop for you to apply to both eyes twice a day and the capsules will be needed to take orally twice a day as well However, in the meantime, before I dismiss you, I'd like to examine your eyes and make sure that there's been no damage to the mobility or the retinas as well as the actual conjunctiva of the eye. What the conjunctiva is, is a very thin membrane that coats the eyelids as well as the front of the eye. And that would be the portion which is currently infected as well as infected which is why that film was produced over the eye. So, I just want to make sure that the current infection is only limited to the conjunctiva and is not affecting any other of the ocular structures within, alright? Cheers. So, Just a simple pen light, and I apologize if your eyes are feeling quite sensitive in the moment, but it is important to examine your optic nerve function. So please look just directly ahead. You may look in between my eyes if it's helpful. Without moving your head, I'd just like you to follow my light here, just using your eyes. Any strain with lateral movement. Two fingers here. I want you to tell me when you see them exit your vision, alright? So, starting now. A little bit lower. Right. 
And would you say that your peripheral vision on all three of those planes were equal? Just over my shoulder right here, you will notice a vision chart on it. So I'm going to be examining each of your eyes independently. And while I do so, I'd like you to focus on that chart. And starting with line number three, please recite the letters that you're able to see. And I'm just going to be just very gently examining your nose. they're not able to read a particular line. Repeat that process once more. And I would like you to read for me yet again.
which I'm just going to be viewing. going to be palpating around the eyes, right? Again, feeling for any swelling, any changes, and do let me know if any particular region that I am pressing promotes any sort of discomfort or pain in the spot. So there is actually one more test. I know I said that the previous was the last. that we don't leave any sort of stone unturned. So I have here a series of different paddles. Each one is a different colour. So to start, can you tell me what colour you see? Now. 
Are you able to discern a difference between these two? this color Is there a difference between these two shades? Right. These two presented here. So then, this here is a booklet of some different issue horror tests for color deficiency, alright? on these two here, this one and yeah. How about on that one? And on this particular page, we actually have something different. There is a line that moves its way across the circle. If you don't mind, 
with your finger, will you please trace the line from start to finish? Well done. stated before, I will be prescribing you two separate antibiotics, both taken with different routes. So one will be in the form, as I said, of an eye drop, and the other will be taken orally twice a day. So first, let me just peruse your paperwork and verify that you don't have any particular medication allergies that might contraindicate? Alright. And this pharmacy number that is included here in your chart, this is still current for you? Brilliant. Alright. as well as an eye drop of equal medication to be applied directly to the eyes twice a day, two drops in each eye. And along with that, the product that I used to cleanse your eyelashes this is called 
Hockey soft lid scrub, lip scrub, right? And this is a very gentle cleanser that I encourage you to purchase for yourself. You may use it with or without the accompaniment of a spoolie. I will say that using one does do a more effective job at cleaning the lid, but it's not completely necessary. If you wish to forego, if your lids are feeling too sensitive, then it's absolutely fine to go ahead and do it without. You may also use a warm washcloth applied to the area of the eyes. It will help bring some relief to the skin as well as help cleanse in a gentle method, all right? I don't recommend rubbing with the cloth, just gently patting or even letting it sit across your eyes for some time it can help bring some relief, all right? So, I will be giving you a ring probably within a week to check in and see how you're doing, all right? And the phone number that I have here on file is that all right for me to call? Right. And may I leave a message if you're not able to pick up? Right. Do you have any questions for me before I step out? to meet you. Cheers.